often do you get to walk here? <coughs> This is the Dane City Bridge, and as you can tell, because I'm standing in the middle of the road, it's closed. But a lot of Dane City residents aren't very happy about this because of the problems it causes for our transportation and possibly for our safety. So in this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the pros and cons of this bridge closure and what it means for the people in our community. So according to the City of Welland, this bridge is in such a bad state of disrepair that it's no longer safe to allow us to drive over it. Is that really true? I don't know for sure. I mean, if you take a look at this, it seems like they're probably right about the condition. Metal's not supposed to do that. I mean, look here. Like, look at that. It just comes right off in your hand. Eat it. The city hasn't given us any real specifics as to how long this bridge can last in its current state. All they've said is, originally when the first repairs were done, they said it was no longer safe for heavy trucks to use this bridge. Now anyone that lives in Dane City knows that the trucks have not stopped using this bridge. We've all seen them come down so we can go down here. Even just a few days ago before these barriers were put up, I was seeing transport trucks go over here. The bridge hasn't fallen in from trucks driving on it. Now, at this point, they say it's not safe for any kind of vehicles. Seems like that's true, but the real question that a lot of people here are concerned with is what are they going to do about it? Is the solution just to close the bridge permanently and make us divert around, or does the bridge need to be fixed so that we can continue to use this route? mechanism from when it used to be a lift bridge. Okay. So that's why you see these lines. Is this the part that lifted? They, they took the towers off this bridge a long time ago and I don't know what the feeling was about that. I know there's been a lot of controversy about the Main Street Bridge whenever people suggest removing the now decorative metal portion and just keeping the roadway. People say no, it's a well and landmark, we need to keep it the way it is. People say the same thing about this bridge with what's left of the original upper portion. So a lot of people here in Dane City don't want to see this bridge replaced, they want to see it repaired. And the city has not really been able to answer the question of which one is the better option for us, or even whether they're considering either of those options currently. It's totally gone, the one going across here. Back in 2014, when the City of Welland released their budget for the upcoming year, they allocated $8 million for the repair or replacement of the Dane City Bridge. But within a few years, the money had dwindled and has continued to do so up until now, to where there's not nearly enough left to really do anything to fix this problem. They've estimated that the cost to repair the bridge to working condition would be about $10 million which means that if the money from 2014 were still left in the budget, the interest alone probably would have brought it up to nearly what we need today, and a little funding campaign could have got the rest of the money secured so we could fix the bridge. But the money has been allocated to other projects and is no longer there. So what has the city been spending the money on that could be used to repair this vital piece of Dane City's transportation? Are they spending the money on giant digital screens, perhaps? or 150th anniversary clock. Is that where the money's gone? We don't know and we never will. But we know that it hasn't gone here. So I personally, I think that as residents of Dane City, we need to be making more of a stink about this 
so that the city will understand they need to consider us when they're budgeting these things. <laughs> Are you recording right now? Mm-hmm. So this, of course, this is the Dane City under the bridge. We, we've been out here filming on the bridge for probably about half an hour or so, and I have seen a lot of people drive up here from the Kingsway and turn around here because they didn't realize that the bridge was closed. Now, I know that there's one sign on Canal Bank just before the town line intersection. I believe there are also ones on town line uh, coming from both directions. But it seems that there's not really enough that's been done to warn people because they still continue coming. Okay, just, just going for a little drive here down to the end of Forks Road. And uh, what, what we're doing is we're going to check out the old road that used to connect actually between Forks all the way up beyond the town line. And you could then get over to Southworth. I don't know what the name of this road was. It's been closed for a long time because it's now property of the St. Lawrence Seaway and not of the city of Welland. But there's been some discussion as to whether the city should buy back the property or lease it from the Seaway and reopen this road so that there will be more than one way in and out of Dane City. It wouldn't solve the Port Colburn problem. We'd still have to divert around for that. But it would solve the potential problem of emergency services not being able to get into or out of Dane City because of trains blocking the other way. Which is a real issue considering the age of our population and the... I mean, obviously we need to be able to access emergency services no matter what. So this, this is... Uh, on the Seaway property now, and you can see this sign here, Public Notice for a Proposed Subdivision. And this was done in 2010, between 193 and 284 units were supposed to be built on this land eight years ago. And as we can see, there hasn't been any progress whatsoever. Same story with the subdivision that was supposed to be built just over there behind us which I think was around the same time, or maybe even a couple of years before, nothing's been done. So the Seaway is not really using this land for anything, which begs the question, why can't the city of Welland make some kind of agreement with them to take over the land and reopen this road so that there'll be more than one way in and out of our community? Because as you can tell, there's not a whole lot that would have to be done to this road to make it drivable again, other than cutting back some of the stuff that's been growing here over the past decades since it's been closed but a much easier and quicker job than fixing that bridge so in the meantime while the bridge is closed reopen the seaway road and let us have another way to get into welland